You're alone in the woods. Would you rather come across a bear or a man you don't know? Oh. Please explain your pick. Oh Starting gosh. with you, go ahead. I would say a man that I don't know because he might have tools to help. And if he's a terrible person, then I'll take him out. Like, <laughs> that's it. Okay. Um, you didn't specify the bear, so I'm going to assume it's a sun bear, and they are very cute. So I'm going to choose the bear. You chose the bear? The, the, no. the sun bear. Yeah, native They never bear. said which bear. I know. So, so you're just assuming you're an Indian. I could, exactly. <laughs> so I could be a koala bear. No, that's not right, but still. I choose the bear. Beautiful. The man. The man. I would choose the bear. Hmm. I would choose the bear. You Wait, say it one more time. I think we missed it. I would choose the bear. Okay. Why? Um, because, like, a man that I don't know sounds really scary. Yeah, in the forest, too. In the and forest. He's doing something. I don't like that. Yeah, well, and maybe, you know like, a bear weighs, like, well over 400 pounds? Maybe but it, I wouldn't bother bear. literally yeah, rip your skin wolves. off your face. I have high, high <laughs> is it called hydrophobia? So, there, well, there's what? a fear of forests, and um, I have a really big fear of, like, going in the forest, like, alone, and especially if a man came there. Like, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Damn. Triggered. Ah. And, and, but a bear, I could just be like, let the bear live its life, and mm. I'll just, you know, get out my binocular or whatever. Did you all say man? Man? I said man. All of you said man? I said, said bear. What? Well, okay. bear. Let's assume it's like a... Uh, a grizzly. And they grizzly most bear. likely don't yeah. attack yeah. unless provoked. Well, plus my yeah, mom worked missing person, I, I so like a man in the forest was always a bad, bad sign. I'll take the grizzly. Why? Men hunt. Oh. Instead of Wait, so man, bear, man, man, bear, bear. Do you want to answer this? What's the question? <laughs> what? Man and bear? Okay, man bad. you're alone man in the wo- you're alone in the woods. Would you rather come across a bear or a man you don't know? Explain your pick. Oh, so I'm basically like rolling out the dice on what kind of guy this is. Yeah, I, sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm alone in the woods. I, a bear, maybe. I mean, because I kind of know what to do if I encounter a bear, you like, you, okay, maybe I do don't. You, do you play do you dead do? or do you make yourself big? I don't know. Depends I think it depends color. on the bear. It depends on the Listen, color. It's kind of I don't crazy, know, crazy. but a man, if he's good, then I want the man because he'll protect me. If he's bad, no, then I don't know you what don't, to do. You don't know. You don't know. You exactly, don't know. so I guess, um, I guess a man, bear, you know, right? Bear, it's just what are your chances? Like, which, what would you rather take your chances on? Yeah, yeah a bear, I've, because the bear. a bear, you can like maybe get to leave you alone. Can but a man is just oh, you know, like oh, I don't know. Can you? What is the original? Yeah. What so? What is? I've I've heard this. It's been going, I guess, viral recently on mm-hmm. TikTok. What's the origination of this question? I think one of it is is it pointing out that women have this perception so, of men yeah. that they're dangerous, mm-hmm. and so it's on one hand it's saying women feel this way about men, but isn't it a bit? I mean, the the sort of overwhelming answers for women being more comfortable with a bear. It seems like it's actually a bit sexist. No, I just explained why. You know how to handle a bear. You like make yourself big and they leave you alone. If really? it's a man, you make yourself big, he doesn't care. He could hurt you. Wow. Wait, wait, so we, we shouldn't be able Hold to on. Go you on. have to yeah. think worst case scenario, you're alone in the woods. Yeah. I mean, the worst case scenario is the f-ing talk. The bear, <laughs> the bear don't understand English. So men can the bear do be no harm to a woman other wait, wait, than just like calling wait, her a bad. Wait, men are not. It, that's his whole point. Men are not inherently bad. No, of a course. man is not going to well, hurt you. You, you stumble across a man, man in the woods. Women. Chances are he's not going to hurt you. Yep. And that's the whole point of the question. The bear is absolutely has a, a more like uh, um, a larger probability of hurting you than a man does in the woods, and yep. it's that simple. Mm-hmm. Disagree. Sure, disagree. you can disagree, but it ain't that ain't it's this fact. It's a fact. A bear wants to hunt. A bear does not attack humans, like unless it's a polar bear. A man, I don't know what you're doing in the woods. And you, why can, you're you can, you can. Even like, some bears attack people. Don't you watch Deadliest like Animals on, Net, on Netflix? Cute. Don't you dare bring some bears into this conversation. Even they, they attack people. <laughs> they attack no, people. No, they don't. They, they don't attack dare, people. Don't and then if and black bears attack people, grizzly bears attack people. There's and men attack people too. Yeah, but a man is it, a man is not going to hurt you. It's, it's well, gross. let me ask you guys a question, right? Like. Let's say the scenario is, like, of all the men that you've walked past 
throughout your life where they all had, they possibly had an opportunity to attack you. Did they? Did they? Yeah, but you weren't alone in the woods. Wait, so I, you're but saying, I don't, I don't just even, I'm not even the kind Wait, of just a, like woman I, actually, that, I, I, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go around the table asking this question. Let's say you were alone in the woods and you walked past a man. What do you guys think, like, what do you think the probability is that just any random man would attack you if he were to walk past you? Let's say you're on a hike through a trail or something. What do you think the probability is that he would attack you? <clears throat> I feel like it's you never know. What if you had to assign a percent? Yeah. I'd say 50-50. <sighs> okay. What about you? Mm, yeah. Alone in the woods? Why are you alone in the woods? He's hunting. What? Just let's say, let's say it's just. Have you ever, have you guys ever been hiking alone? Yes. Yeah. No. No. Not alone. <laughs> well, there's popular trails. Where, okay, whatever. <laughs> that's the point. Why you would can you scream. do that? Who's gonna hear me scream? Like. Okay. Let's. Okay. Fine. You've walked past people while you're on a hike. I've hiked whatever. alone before. Yeah. And it's always like it feels like fifty-fifty. Yeah. yeah. What do you? Okay. Hold on. Let's go around the table fully on this. What about you? <clears throat> Well, I wouldn't hike alone. As a woman, you just don't do that. Um, I do. I think it. I think in. Stop. A, and generally, it's not safe to do that as a woman, especially Why? at night. Well, at night. On. Okay, now we're adding other factors. Why? Well, because then you're. You could be a potential victim to of some what? of a creepy man. Wanting to hurt you or what do you think wanting the percentage to chance is, though? Assault you. Okay, what's the percentage chance? I don't know, but I would say if it was me, um, 30, 70, 30 being he would assault me. 37? Is that 30, 70? 70. 70. Wait, 30? 30% chance that he would. Okay, what mm -hmm. about you? Um, well, I chose the man, um, because, oh, right, okay. yeah, bears are pretty scary, mm -hmm. um, especially right. if it's like a mama bear and she's got like a kid. Oh, you, you reasonable. Uh, like yeah. That. Um, <laughs> but, somebody. but also if you are alone in a woods, I do understand like a woman's fear mm -hmm. being around, around a man because I've been in a room with a man on my own and been like, oh, he's giving me some weird energy over here. Yeah, me too. And yes, if he feels as if he could get away with it, you're in the middle of like, you know, the Pacific Northwest and it's the woods, it's like the Sasquatch area, right? It's very, very covered. Um, there is a chance that a man would attack, but I don't know what the percentage is. I would still choose the man over a bear. I, I have a question. Well, I want to get everybody's answer on this, so just give us quick if you can. Uh, well, my uh, perspective probably isn't appropriate for YouTube, but um, I was victim of a violent crime. Yep, but okay. What percentage? I don't... If well, you... I've been victim of a few crimes but okay. one was really bad but okay. th so i would say a high percentage just from what i've seen what give us a percentage 85 grid one motorsports donated 200 dollars <laughs> trick question a man alone in the woods is already tired of a woman is shite <laughs> thus a woman alone in the woods will never even know he was there mm -hmm. and he would likely take pity on the bear that ate he <laughs> what about you what percentage I'd say 50-50. 50-50, okay. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it'd be very low, like less than 10%. I think okay. most men are good and would be good. Like not to sound bad, but like, if, especially if you're a pretty woman, mm -hmm. you're young, you're attractive, depends what you're wearing. Like not to be rude, but like girls who are like overweight or who are not what? attractive, they're probably not gonna be like assaulted as much. Uh, I, I think if you're attractive, he would be more inclined to help you. Yeah, that's true, but also more inclined to hurt you if he's the wrong kind of guy. If he's oh, the wrong, wrong kind, kind of, of guy. guy is insane. I think there's just too many variables. I think women insane, have though. a victim complex yeah. and they have a really inflated, look, I, of course there's, me, there's monsters out there, there's men who do terrible things. Yeah. This is a very small portion of men, a yeah. very small portion of men who, who are criminals, who have an in, inclination yeah. to... Uh, attack women or assault women in whatever way that might manifest itself. 
Um, so the way you feel, but like to hear these numbers, say 50%, 80, I don't know, I heard, what was the highest 85. one? 85. Per, was that you who said 85%? I said 85. Oh, I don't yeah. know. What did you say? What percentage? I said 30%. 30, 30, 50. 50. It's like a, it's a coin toss, just walking by. So That's it, basically what you guys are saying is 50% of men, if given the opportunity, would essay you, would assault you. Essentially, no. that's no, that's not I'm what I'm only the man in the woods. Like, 50, like I was you the man never, in the woods. It's a 50 50 mm. chance. You never, you don't know. You don't know. So you don't, it's, I'd probably say 20 percent. These are instincts. If it wasn't the man of women. course, you don't know what any given man exactly, but would I know do. what I have a, high, a lot of us were also taught to like not yeah. go out at night alone. As a yeah. woman, you don't do that. Okay. I think the like, I think the factor is you don't that put it's yourself wood, in that position. It's a wooded it's area. Wood, yeah. yeah, it's a creepy. Yeah, yeah right. The there's setting, no sur- there's the no the surveillance. Is creepy. There's I'm no police. To see a bear. I think it also depends on your how you grew up. Like I remember, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, bust my mom's heart, but I grew up, you know, kind of interesting. And some, you know, she worked missing person. She was a police officer. So sometimes she'd be like, "You left the door unlocked," and I'd be like, "Yeah," and she'd be like, "Say something very dark that would happen to me," and I'd be like, "Whoa." okay and that would be like for years decades and and so you kind of just internalize it and mm-hmm. yeah you let it go but at the end of the day there's always that kind of lurking like what but also you know? but also i think this speaks volumes to yeah. the biased negative perception that y'all have towards men because if you ask me the most likely man to be in the woods is a ranger oh yeah <laughs> that is no, but i mean y'all automatically assume the oh, a guy in the woods what is he doing in the woods it could be a park ranger. Well, would you feel better if it was a was park? Set up I would feel better. But, but oh, yeah. yeah, anytime there's an open-ended question, the human mind is going to play into whatever its biases are. Mm-hmm. Well, so that's why, I said, that's why I said. That's, yeah. that's why I said. That's why I said. Assessment. We're uh-huh. saying more the than likely he's not going to attack to us. Figure out how yes, know, but, women perceive men. So we're not going to. We know not to be like. Well, it's probably a park ranger. Like, no, but it, it's open-ended, so it could go either way. The fact that they literally stated. A man in the woods is creepy. That's open ended. A man in the woods. Yeah. A man in the woods. You give him a label. I don't think anybody said that. It could be a part. Just, maybe it's, it's more like we didn't say that alone yes, with did. no one I for miles. I never said that. No, not you. I think she said. I it. said I prefer animals over humans, and I want to. See <laughs> no, I, I think you said uh, oh, a man in the woods is just creepy. That. One of you said a man in the it, woods is just creepy. I, I think it was probably me. It was it it probably me. Yeah. It was one of y'all. But if it's a park ranger, he's not creepy. But I, I take back the 80% because I was thinking 80% with a man in the woods odds that he would be creepy. But but if it was like just a regular man like on the street, 20%. Not not high. Can I ask the group ask the group a question? Is it related to this? Yes. Okay. Um, has any woman here taken like self-defense classes? And does that build your confidence? And do you think that your chances of surviving something like that encounter you're describing would be higher given those lessons? So after the crime that happened, um, I was very scared and I actually took um, like karate um, when I, you know, didn't have this going on. And I took karate for like, I would say like three to four months and I really liked it. And I just kind of stopped and I don't know why, but um, I, I felt a lot of power doing that. And I don't, I don't know how much I could ward off, but it felt cool, like it was good. I think it's good for women to, mm-hmm. I, I don't have any objections to women learning self-defense tactics, taking martial arts, jujitsu, kickboxing, whatever. Uh, however, I mean, unless you, rise to very top levels in that sport the likelihood that you're going to be able to dispatch a man who has 60 pounds on you or even who's probably the same Same Mm weight there's such a a strength discrepancy Mm -hmm. between men and women even of the same weight i gotta be honest like self-defense classes are probably not gonna be sufficient i think it was psychological i think it felt good well that's the other thing yeah you're it's typically when it comes to your your sense of you feeling unsafe, that that's exactly what it is. You feel unsafe. Mm-hmm. Whether you actually, it's with this whole bear scenario, you might feel that way, but the reality is what, what you feel and what is reality is very different. Yeah, like it probably won't happen again. Well, yeah. keep in mind, we chose man for a reason. Mm-hmm. We know that the man, the man is more than likely not going to hurt us or attack us. We're not saying that. But you're also asking women. If I were to ask you, yeah. if you were alone in the woods, would you rather, you know, be with a woman or a man you would or mean you know a woman or a bear then you would choose the woman but women on average get assaulted by men than vice versa 
kind so of you're sure that's fine right women display aggression in very different ways though <laughs> sure but yeah so i mean and no, actually i think when i mean geez we're, are we, i don't know if i really want to go down that road but um uh i don't think self-defense would really help you with most men like if you're like ufc champion woman you can probably actually like beat the f guy who's <laughs> for sure your size i think who's untrained can i ask a question yeah. have you ever had a swift kick in I the could. bollocks <clears throat> the bo is that the a swift kick in the bollocks like you've been kicked in the nuts is that what yeah, they what teach it. you in the self-defense classes in, yeah in the uk i did two years of military yeah. training and then two years of krav maga training yeah and the best thing they teach women is the bollocks yeah i would i would say yeah. Yeah. i mean you, if you can do it you don't have the ufc you just have to get them there and it hurts doesn't it it hurt a little bit yeah yeah but do, do you yeah. think you would really like it's like you, do you think like the you, what you see in the movies where if you were to strike a guy in the nuts, he would just like, oh, fall over and he can no longer control his motor, like. Should we test it out? Maybe if you mace him. <laughs> no, like, just, I'm pretty sure, I'm just yeah, saying it hurts, that's a good but, like, start. I'm not gonna tell people how to attack men. I'm just saying if you take those classes, they teach you How about this? Steps. Here, let me give women better advice. Go get a firearm. That's that'll that'll equalize, bear mace. that'll equalize yeah, mace. much more than that, that, that'll help you out much more in a self-defense situation against a man than taking years of BJJ. Okay. Or mace. Yeah. Also, like, I don't know, it's pretty, you just block, can you just block <laughs> the nut shot? I don't know. Hmm. I, think it's probably, theory. I think it's kind of crazy to see, like, you know, it's like you said with the biases and everything. I, I think it's really nice. How much nice. do you weigh, Gustavo? 140. 140? Oh. Anybody, <laughs> here, anybody here weigh more than 140? Like, I'm pretty sure Gustavo here. You can't here. ask that question. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're right. Okay. Sorry, the autism's kicking in. Right. <laughs> the whole bear I don't know, the whole bear thing, though, it's like, uh, it kind of, it's weird because on one hand, it's like, I feel like w women think it's like a W. Yeah, we're more scared of men than bears. Yeah. Just no. kind of like ridiculous on the face. No. Yeah. No, well, that, then why, why else would like, all, all these women say I'd rather be with the bear. Like, because they're dumb. Well, because like I'd look, rather be with a safe man. Look, there's, a, there's absolutely the that I feel anybody. safe with. <laughs> there's absolutely men that would that do and would attack women, mm -hmm. but like I would argue that it's a risk. That there's a greater likelihood that you end up with a harmless man who might actually help you. You're stuck in the forest. I agree with He'll that. He'll save you. True, yeah. He'll save you. I literally I agree said with if that. Whereas tools, if you cross I paths, can't. you cross paths okay. with a bear. Most bears I, actually don't attack. I don't know the stats on that. That's polar bears. Yeah, but I the rest of them don't, so. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I actually, they, they still attack. I don't know. And so do I, men. And you're smaller than a man as well. I don't know. So the, it's, 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 I'm pretty sure, like, We're if you smaller cross, than both. I mean. cross paths with a bear, <laughs> like, you have to think, okay, what's the worst scenario for both? Okay, the guy is a piece of who wants to assault you. Okay, the bear is uh, a... The, the babies are there. It's a mama bear. It's going to... It's mm -hmm. gonna maul you. Yeah. Spare bear maze. If it was babies, I would be scared of the bear if the babies were here's there. A, here's a question, right? Um, let's say you're not alone in the forest and you're with like a group. You're with a, another man. Mm -hmm. Would you rather cross paths with two men or two bears? Two men. It depends how big the man is. Oh. Two, right, men. Right, two, just, men. two men. Two men. I would say two men. I would say two men. Two men for sure. Because then one is there to watch if anything happens. <laughs> there's definitely a bias against, I mean, there's a bias against men when yeah. it comes to this stuff. The, yeah. the, <clears throat> bears are predators. The vast, majority, the vast majority of men would never hurt a woman in this sort yeah. of hypothetical situation. Yeah, there's monsters out there. There's pieces of mm -hmm. But the vast majority of men are good men who would probably help you. So, it's not the yeah, ideal situation, regardless of who you come nah, across. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just crazy to say assume. that bear. Yeah, they, they the must assume it's, it's Ted Bundy. <laughs> but that's an assumption. Ted Bundy yeah. No, I don't think anyone was assuming anything. I, think I was. Maybe, I, I think was. maybe I was she was assuming it was feels Bundy. a certain way because she's been yeah, she's through had, things, yeah. so you have to understand that. But I don't think any of us are actually assuming a that a guy would just attack us. I hope this isn't offensive, but let me ask you a question. For those of you mm -hmm. who you had bad experiences yeah. with men before, yeah. what if? Oh. 
That guy slingshot donated $200. Rather than wasting your money on jujitsu, karate self-defense classes, go take you a gun and safety course and get your CCP. It's way more useful yep. against a predator versus some fancy karate move. Yeah, I mean, you can get a firearm and you could... You could kill the best male heavyweight UFC fighter. If he's got his hands, you've got a gun. Like, GG. Well played. So it's just, yeah, look, it's not... The gun deep. wasn't a factor in the original question. And well, also... There's, it was a factor in really, my scenario. It's really difficult to also get a firearm, um, especially as and an immigrant. And, shoot um, and then there's also places you can't take your firearm and, you know, you won't For have me. it on you all the time. So I think, yes agree but also it's going to be hard to do that 24 7. for me he had a sure. firearm yikes okay. i know right <laughs> anyways <laughs> i totally forgot sorry what else oh yeah no worries <laughs> mm. uh, do i go there probably not it's been like five years so <laughs> okay i'm kind of like over it but 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 i'm i'm wiser now and i did karate it did make me feel better it did really made me feel better <laughs> Yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay. Uh -huh. what, does it change the question at all if, like, if we were to put, like, would you rather be in the force alone with a bear or a man of X race? Like, let's say, yeah. let's, let's racialize this a little bit. Mm -mm. Let's say, what about, like, a minority group? No. Does that change anything? No, it doesn't change anything. No. 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 Hmm. I, think, okay. I think what it is is... And uh, I don't mean to speak for yeah. you. Yeah, no worries. No worries. I know it's so awkward. I wish it didn't happen. So, you know? no, I don't mean to speak for you, but I think it's about where you place the most risk and mm -hmm. what you have the most, like how you view the, the, the greatest risk. And so it's like, if you, um, for me, I chose a man because I automatically know the bear's intent and that bear could intentionally, like potentially hurt me. Just Gerald donated $200. Black bear will run. Brown bear will charge. Hmm. Grizzly bear will hold you down and eat pieces off of you while you're still alive, <laughs> oh. screaming. Well, Polar black bears one. will kill you quickly and eat you quickly. Goodness. Yo, Gerald, good to see in the chat, man. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I just, just to wrap that up, is I just feel like uh, you answer it based on where you see the most risk and if you see the most risk in, in a man or versus a bear and for me it's like I know the bear's intent and I'm not going to assume the man's intent so I'm going to choose him 